EA Sports, and the PGA of America are proud to present second round coverage of the PGA Championship. Oh, I like that. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Second shot. Good looking shot right here. That's one of the more depressing sights in golf. You hit a good one, and then it just sucks back too much spin off the green. Cody try up next. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. Putt for birdie. And with the birdie, moves into the top ten on the leaderboard. And moves into some very good company. Set to go now at the sixth. It's a pretty short par four. Yeah, slight dog leg to the right, but you can play it straight away. There's a series of bunkers down that left side, and then they really choke the fairway at about 320 yards. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Strong winds continue to be a factor. Frank, I know you've played all over the world. How much did you enjoy the challenge of playing into a stiff breeze? Well, it was a chance to separate yourself from the rest of the field, Rich. Um, just like these conditions we're seeing right now, um, you've really got to be smart. Pick the right shot. If you get too aggressive on a day like today, um, you'll pay a far more severe price than normal. Club selection, obviously, is crucial. Oh, it's imperative today. Take an extra club or two, choke down. Very much so. So, 24 feet after that approach shot, Frank. Yeah, it's um, well, just outside the uh, what you'd think uh, very makeable distance. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. Locked in on the read and the speed. Good par. Another magnificent hole here at Whistling Straits. Nothing but water on the right and a huge drop off down to the beach. Yeah, if you're struggling with your golf, um, just take a little breath and look right. Uh, it'll, it'll be a great uh, elixir. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. That was a solid strike and a good result. These putts keep the round together. This is a good move. Another birdie. Now to five under for the tournament. I'm loving that balance. The officials are calling that one around 310 yards. Frank, when we stop staring at Lake Michigan in the background, what should we be focusing on? 
Well, somehow you're going to have to thread a long iron in between those bunkers right and Lake Michigan. That's a solid shot here into the eighth hole and a good chance now for another birdie. Good birdie right there, moving to third place on the leaderboard. Ready to round out the front nine here at Whistling Straits with a 442-yard par four. This one plays a little bit downhill in the fairway and everything slopes towards the right. So you've got to be aware of that. Just aim that tee shot a little further left than you'd uh, think you would. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Frank, downhill shot here. Will he have to take it just a little bit easier? Yeah, be careful with the ball position as well. If you play the ball too far forward and try and scoop it, it's not going to work. Should be safely on deck. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. Birdie putt coming up. A par on this hole yesterday. That birdie has to feel even better, Rich, with everything so tight at the top. Right in the middle of a Donnybrook at this point. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf. Uh, key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament.